So this is my backyard $30 aluminum foundry. Basically all it is is a paint can with a hole in the top of it for the crucible to stick out. The crucible sitting all the way down to the bottom of it. And uh, inside I've just got a bunch of charcoal. The crucible itself is made out of a 6 inch length uh, iron nipple piping nipple. It's two inches in diameter, six inches long, with a two inch diameter cap on the back end of it to hold in the aluminum. The aluminum pieces I got at a uh, welding yard for free, actually. They gave me about two pounds of it for free. Just stuff they couldn't use. My blower is just an eight dollar Walmart hair dryer with a car funnel taped to the back of it connected to a 18 inch long section of pipe that's about a half inch in diameter. There's a little hole in the bottom of the bucket. I made that with a drill bit, but you could probably just punch a hole in there with some tin snips or something like that. Um, try to get a fan that has a cool switch rather than a cool button. I had to use a C clamp to keep the cool button down. If it's on hot, uh, the backflow will cause the um, hair dryer to either shut itself off or catch itself on fire. Once I'm done, I'm going to be pouring it into these little ingot trays and uh, after that I can put my crucible on that thing which is a brake drum and it's actually very nicely sized to hold a uh, two inch diameter iron crucible and that's it whole project only cost me about thirty dollars and if I wanted to buy scrap grade aluminum it would only cost me about seven cents a pound if I got it at the market price. So, there we have it.